here we are in the finals of a modern eight man. I'm playing Mono Blue Tron, and I won the die roll. Looks like six to one. So let's play first and do this thing. So I look down to a pretty nice hand. A couple Tron lands, Talisman for acceleration, Fabricate to find something, and then Worm Coil Engine. So this hand's not excellent. I don't actually have a counter spell or card draw, but this is a keep. I have two Tron lands, and then I do have a two drop, which is pretty good. And I have blue mana. This is just a keep. Mulliganing this is just greedy. I would certainly like a repeal or a counter spell or something, but instead I'm just going to be proactive, accelerate with talisman, and just ignore my opponent and overpower them. Fabricate can find Oblivion Stone to get some tempo back, or it can find a power card. So here, Talisman, and then I hope to draw a Tron land to slam the Worm Coil. I'm looking to use Fabricate for probably a Mind Slaver. Looks like he's maybe playing blue, white, red control. He is. He has Tectonic Edge, which I don't want to see. But I can try to play around it a little bit. More than likely, I'll just try to play out my lands. If he uses Tectonic Edge early, it's going to set him back. And I can probably cast my spells naturally. This isn't a red-green Tron deck where I have spells like Emrakul. I can cast Wormcrawl Engine and Mind Slaver and Platinum Angel and Sundering Titan with real lands. And Talisman and Solemn help accelerate. Okay, so I was going to fabricate, but now I'm just going to pass and try to resolve Thirst for Knowledge. I'm going to hold it now. I don't want to walk into Mana Leak. And again, I don't want to get leaked, and because I don't have a follow-up play, I'm just going to wait again. I'll play a land. If he uses Tectonic Edge, that's fine. I would actually be pretty happy if he used it right now. He uses Snapcaster, so that's going to resolve for him. I'll fire off my Thirst for Knowledge. If I hit a Counterspell like Condescend, I'd probably use it. Okay. Fabricate, Remand, Thirst, Repeal. I'm just going to get rid of Worm Coil, which is going to get pathed anyways. And I'll pass it back. I'll save my Remand. Snap Snapcaster Mage is not that big of a deal. Two Tectonic Edge is pretty powerful. Looks like he's going to use both to snag both of my lands and then attack me. So that's pretty powerful, but... Not devastating. I'm going to fabricate for, I think, a solemn simulacrum. Yeah, I'll get that. Play an island, pass it back, and try to just get some value. In this situation, I think it's best to pass. I could also use the Fabricate. I would rather not repeal that because I don't want him to get value from it. I'll use the Thirst now. If he mana leaks it, I'll remand it. Here I'll discard Oblivion Stone. That's not doing very much. Start playing some Tron lands. And I'll cast Solemn now. Mana leak. I'm going to remand the Solemn.
and pass it back. There's really not much he can punish me with. A Johnny Vengeant would be his best play. He does have a Johnny. But with repeal, I can make sure he doesn't ultimate it. Map? I'm thinking about getting Oblivion Stone. Or getting a uh, map. Mapping up... Uh, Academy Ruins, returning Oblivion Stone, and then using it to kill a Johnny. That might not be a bad line. And I think it's the best one I have. He uses a Johnny on Ruins. I'm actually going to not use it. And I'm just going to repeal it. I'll pass one more time. I could play the Talisman, but I think I should keep it in case I do use the Oblivion Stone. He bolts me. I could burst it, but I think I let that resolve. I'm going to repeal the Ajani now. So he can't shock me with it. If he replays it, I can remand it. And this is the best of both worlds if he can tap out with Cryptic. I suppose it's the same thing. So I'll remand it. Hopefully no other counter spell. Okay, so I'd like to leave up Spell Burst, but I don't want to take damage. I could fabricate Mind Slaver and go that for that. I could fabricate up Mind Slaver. Well, I do have to keep in mind he has the Cryptic. I think I need to just play the Solemn. First thing. Then... I'll play the mine. 
And I'll pass, leaving up Spellburst. He paths it. I could counter buyback. If he has both, I'm dead. But I think if he has both, I'm dead either way. Yeah, I'm going to burst buyback. And yeah, burst buyback. Hope I hold up. It's unlikely, but we'll see how this goes. He snares it. And that's the game. He'll attack and then deal three. I can't help but feel like I should have won this one. I'll have to rewatch it, but I think I played it. I think I played it well. But there's certainly many decisions, counter wars, things like that. So I guess letting him ad resolve a Johnny that turn might have been where it turned. Though he certainly played well by playing that Snapcaster and being aggressive. I think I actually could have or could have repealed it early initially it might have changed the course of the game I'm going to go watch that one and do a synopsis of it afterwards So here's where Squelch shines. It can counter Fetch Lands or Tectonic Edge. Relic of Progenitus is solid. It stops Snapcaster Mage. Spreading Seas can mess with his mana. Spell Pierce is a counter spell. I'll definitely bring that in. Seas I'm not so sure about. And Dispember is not very good. It could kill Vendillion quick. It doesn't deal with Geist, which he could bring in. So here I'm going to cut the Platinum Angel. It just dies to too many things. It's not really the route I want to go. I'm going to cut Cyclonic Rift because he doesn't really have things to bounce. Same thing with Repeal. So I cut all the Repeals. That opens up some slots. This brings me to 62. He might bring in Stony Silence, so that's something to consider. He also has Spell Snare. It's possible I'd like to cut a Talisman. Worm Coil is solid enough. I think Oblivion Stone actually gets cut. And I, yeah, I'll cut one Talisman and try that. This looks solid. Stony Silence will be a problem though, with no repeals. But I can win around Stony Silence. This deck is not as weak to Stony Silence as the Green Red Tron deck. Not nearly as weak to it. This hands a mulligan. Just not enough lands. This one's a keep. I'll lead with the tower. There's really nothing I could pierce turn one. Island now. That mine's obviously a nice draw. Hitting lands is important here. Condescend should help me out. And I will play the mine. Um, that was actually a mistake, I think. I wanted to leave up Pierce and Condescend. I shouldn't have done that. I should have definitely played the island. If I hit Tron, I don't even think Mind Slaver is necessarily a great play. Though actually it is. If I hit Tron, I can Mind Slaver with a Pierce backup. 
So I would do that. So we'll see. I think that conservatively it's just better to leave up the two counter spells though. Play around more cards. Okay, I'll play Island. And I kind of want to thirst and then pierce him. But then I expose myself to plays like a Johnny. So I'm going to wait. I should practice the fundamentals and do counter wars on the end of his turn, not on my turn. Okay, he has no play. I'll fire off the thirst here. It resolves. I could get rid of the map or the mind slaver. I think I get rid of the mind slaver and then try to ruins it back later. And actually, I think I hold the map now too and save it for thirst. I'll just draw some Tron lands. Though this map is kind of earmarked for Academy Ruins. I'll thirst again. I'll discard. Hmm. Solemn Simulacrum would not be a bad play here. It's even decent against a Johnny. I'll discard the second Mind Slaver. I'll, this is this is one way to do it. I'll see how this works out for me. Another Tron land, not the right one, but a land nonetheless, and Solemn Simulacrum. Remand, I'm going to... I was going to pierce it. I think pierce is actually more valuable. I'll remand his remand. Though this does walk into snare, actually. I should have probably pierced it. He could have snared my remand and stopped the simulacrum. But this way is maximizing my cards the best way. And... I assume he leaves in all the pierces. He could cut some, though. Or all the snares. But now I do have my pierce back to fight Cryptic Command and a Johnny. So, it might have been worthwhile to take the risk of spell snare. If I pierce, I get rid of his remand forever. Now he still has it. So there is that. It's also possible pierce becomes less relevant as time goes on. I could have used that remand to save my spells. If anyone has opinions on that play, I would like to hear it. I th the conservative approach of playing around spell snare and just piercing might just be the way to do it to ensure I resolve the solemn and get a tempo advantage. Yeah, because if he if he snared and then plays a Johnny, I'm not too happy. So P Pierce was right. Pierce was right. My remand was, I think, greedy. All right, so that I don't I don't love to see that. Though the mind slavers in the graveyard looks pretty smart, I guess. The maps look very poor. Really here I just need to grind him now. That stony silence I actually cannot deal with. So these maps are worthless. It appears now like I should have used a map while I could. And got my Tron. But Tron's not too important right now. But if I had it, I'd be in very good shape. And I hope I do hit it. 
because it would make condescend much better. I'm not in terrible shape though with my solemn and a grip full of counter spells. He's hitting some lands. I probably shouldn't attack with Solemn because he can block. There's the ruins. I won't attack. But I could start setting up recurring solemns and thinning out lands. He hits a tectonic edge that's not too relevant right now. I'm going to hold back the power plant and get him to use... the edge on the ruins. He does it, he's gonna block. No, he doesn't. He should have blocked and then killed the ruins. He's just gonna wear it. Okay, I'm all right with that. Oh, awesome, so now island, or the power plant, Tron up, tap the island, treasure mage, and now slam a worm coil engine. Or actually, <laughs> Big Sundering Titan. Wow. I haven't played with that card in a while. Oh, no. So, I need to remand my Treasure Mage. And replay it. And unfortunately, I cannot cast Titan now. Cannot kill three of his lands. But he used the edge, so I could just do it next turn. I actually have eight mana other even if he kills a land. Yeah, Worm Curl just gets pathed. I'm gonna live I'm gonna definitely go for the live a little dangerously with the Titan. That seems much better. Okay, so that talisman doesn't do anything. So pass it back. Three dead cards. So definitely should have used that Pierce earlier. Now this Pierce just looks bad. Remand would have been awesome. So that was a misplay. And I'm I'm playing the Titan. I'll take my chances. If he snapcasters, I can condescend for two to play around the counterflux. I can play actually do it for three and play around his wear and tear. And then if he leaks, I could pierce it, condescend for one. 
Doesn't look like he can stop the Sundering Titan now. Remand, I'll pierce the remand. He probably remanded the Titan. Yeah. He pays, I'll condescend for one. And he concedes. No one wants to be tightened. It, it's better to concede. Because getting three lands killed sucks. Spreading seeds could be alright to try to mana screw him a little bit. And maybe some number of repeal to play around... Stony Silence makes sense. Like, just to have one to uh, get the Stony Silence off the table and start the Mind Slaver lock. Just, just to give myself some sort of play. I'll cut a Worm Coil. I'm not loving it. Though I didn't see Path. He probably would have used it if he had it on the Solemn. Perhaps not, though. He didn't want to give me a land. And actually, he would probably was saving it for the Worm Coil. I can't imagine him cutting all of his paths. Talisman. He had wear and tear. Maybe I just cut Talisman. Bring in the two spreading seas. I think one repeal is fine. Could cut a mind slaver. He just has so few targets, and having repeal in hand is so poor. I could repeal my spreading seas. Spreading seas is actually good against colonnade. Yeah, I should have these. Okay. Could cut a mind slaver. Nah, yeah, I'll leave in two Mind Slaver. He probably only has like two Stony Silence. And it's really good. The Mind Slaver. But I could cut one for a Talisman, maybe. Just to streamline the deck. Like this Mind Slaver is kind of bleh. Wish it were a Talisman, right? I'm going to keep it double Remand and a map. Hopefully no Stony Silence. That would punish me pretty bad. colonnade that I'm looking to spreading seas if I can draw one fingers crossed nice cool nothing no one plays Shadow of Doubt anymore. Tectonic Edge might be the best one for me to get. Maybe not. I just drew another Tron land. If I got tower, it would look good too. I don't really want to sack my lands, but I'm just looking at his draw. He doesn't have red, or he didn't. And he has colonnade, which is pretty strong against me in general. Ah, there it is. So, 
I'm going to remand it. He remands it back. I'm going to slam the solemn. My logic was that with solemn, I could just get ahead on mana and then use the tectonic edge to keep him down. So maybe I should have had two worm coil, one mind slaver to play around the stony silence. Maybe that would have been better than cutting the mind slaver for something like talisman. Especially now, look, he just pathed. Though he almost certainly has snapcaster in that hand. Okay, there's Stony Silence, so or there's a repeal for Stony Silence, so this can make things interesting. I think what I need to do here is just play land. And I I think I should fabricate. I need to figure out what to get. I guess it's very clearly Sundering Titan. And now I still have two remands up. And I got my fabricate off when I had the mana. I think sometimes I might tend to keep it back because I'm not sure what to get, but that's just, that's really just a misplay. Not maximizing my mana and figuring out what I'm going to need and giving myself the best chance to win. Relic, I'm just going to put into play to sacrifice later when I get rid of Stony Silence. Which might be mu much later. Ideally, I'm going to even get Mind Slaver into play. Though I'll, if I can get him to tap out, that would be ideal. If I could slow roll. The the idea is to end of turn repeal into Mind Slaver. Cru I'm actually going to remand the Crucible. Just to get a remand off. Tron land, so I could have Tron now. So getting my tech, getting that tectonic edge, that was probably just dumb. Casting Sundering Titan here would have been pretty sweet. No worries, I'm gonna remand it. Now I'm going to Thirst. I can get rid of a map. There's a Ruins. That could be pretty cool with Sundering Titan. And I'll pass it back. Crucible. I could burst for three, buyback, force some action on his part. I could let it resolve. I don't want to let it resolve, though. I could uh, condescend for five. Let's see how that would work out. Plays around Mana Leak. Yeah. I like that. And if I don't, the condescends are going to get worse. Yeah, condescend for five. I'll likely just let it happen. If he remands it, he's just wasting his 
valuable cards. Okay. Um, Island to the bottom because it's not a Tron land. And then Thirst to the top because Thirst is pretty much the best card I could hope for right now. And I'll keep holding that repeal. I need that repeal. It's my ace in the hole. And I'll pass it back. And if he gets careless and taps wrong, I could use Tectonic Edge to get rid of Counterspell Mana at some point. Okay, he just cryptics. I kind of want to just counter buyback, but that seems a little dumb. It's definitely value, but it's exposing myself. So I think just a calm condescend for one makes a lot of sense. I don't want to, I don't want to get a John eat or something. So I don't want to tap out. So that tower is awesome. That remand on top is good. So I'll put both on top. I'll just reverse the order. So I draw the tower next turn. So he does nothing now. I, I don't see why I, I should thirst. I could start a counter war over the Stony Silence, repeal it. And if he does tap out, I could just land the Titan. And then keep her manned up. Mm, I think I should save my repeal until I have Tron. Yeah, I could just wait one turn and be in the same situation, but in a much better spot. Yeah, I'll I'll wait one more turn. I'll set up some more. Rather than Titan, I'd rather just resolve Mindslaver. Here I'm going to repeal the silence. And I have Spell Burst now, and I could try to lock him out. If it, he just lets it resolve and passes... Spell burst will take over the game. Okay, he lets it resolve. Thirst for knowledge. I'll dig for some land. I'm going to just... Okay, I should have uh, sacked the relic first. But I'm going to discard relic. Um, there's no relevant cards in my graveyard. I'm going to sack my relic just to draw a card. Also turn off any Snapcaster Mage he has. I could keep one in play to counter Snapcaster. Or I could, and I could have just started draining his graveyard, but I wanted to get the card here. And I'm just trying to explode. Yeah, Mind Slaver. I have two remands and a spell burst for one. Remand. Spell snare. So there is the Spell burst for one. I'm going to have to let it go. 
No Spellburst lock. I'm going to sacrifice it to set up the Mind Slaver lock. Counterflux. Counterflux, the Mind Slaver. Okay, so Counterflux, the Mind Slaver. My Spellburst counters a Snare. Remand the Cryptic. So. I think... I think there's some next level options. I think I'm going to remand my remand. That way his cryptic doesn't go back to his hand. It'll just fizzle. And yeah, without a target, he won't draw a card. And then I'm going to rem and then I think I'm going to remand my spell burst. The thing is, he has. Oh, I'm running out of time. Okay, I need to uh, play. I'm just going to play the game. I'll talk later. Okay, so 47 seconds. I should be able to win. So now I have my spell burst back. He's going to play the Stony Silence. I need to slam Titan. He kills Tron, of course. Plays Stony Silence. I cast Titan. Cryptic, I'm going to pierce it. Kill his steam vents. No. His fountain, his fountain, and his steam vents. And the next turn, I'll kill his colonnade. Kill the colonnade. Lighten helix me, sure. Okay, I don't have time for solemn. I'm just going to F6. Okay, F6. Yeah, rather than... Yeah, actually, I'll play Solemn. Okay, three seconds. I think I got it. F6. 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 Got it. One second. Oh, no. I didn't spreading seas. I don't have time. Well, I lost on Magic Online, but won the match with the deck. That's unfortunate. I was just wasting time talking, but that is the point. So, Mono Lutron looks awesome, and I recommend it for your next event. Adam Yurchik for TCGplayer.com. Thanks for watching.